Hey there, Leo. Hi, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we are going to do a read for the end of December 2020, the last 10 days roughly. We're going to take a look at what's going on, and I brought out doubles in case that um, we need to clarify. We'll clarify with its own deck. Let me make sure that they're all facing the right way. But we'll do clarifiers with the same deck. That way, if you get the same card again, that that's going to hit it home for you. It means it means it. The cards really mean it when they say it twice that way. And it really is quite clear. So, all right. Hopefully, I think we've got those how they should go. All right. This is the Sacred Rose Tarot by Joanna Wu Giardi. Wow. Okay. And it's lively today. By Joanna Giardi. Sherman, I think that's the name of it. All right. Right now, we'll put this one to the side for clarification. This one wanted to talk, and it wanted to talk loud. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what's going on currently is new starts all the way around. New starts and new action that needs to be taken. You're prepared for this action. This is about resources, money, can do with career, can do with home front. But this is with resources and time. There's clarity here. Absolutely something new and true for you to start to start growing, maybe perhaps a way of investing. This is what the energies are for you right now, currently, and what you've recently arrived at. So coming up for you, let's see what we've got. Let's shuffle this one more time, and then we'll go through it. Man, that's the most feisty I've seen this thing in, well, years. It doesn't usually, <laughs> it doesn't usually kick out like that. Holy crap. Okay, the message is there, the message is there. Okay, definitely new starts. Good grief. All right, folks, the fool is here. The king of cups is there. There's an emotional and possibly um, loving relationship, partnership perhaps being offered. It could be just emotional support. And then you have this eight of wands where you feel like a lot of things are coming at you. This is a lot of wands. Usually with the wands, you see leaves growing and things and branches that are happening. Sometimes you see them like javelins being thrown either um, towards something or away from something one way or the other. This one, the hand is right there and they're just like, all this fire is coming out of your hand. This is you with extreme creativity right now. You've got creative mojo and juju like nobody's business. Really, really good right now. It's a good time of new starts all around. All right, and we're going to look. This is what's coming at you, this creativity requirement. Then, oh gosh, heavy hitters today, guys. All right, this is in the category where I usually have advice. This is what's going on. In here, this isn't so Major Arcana. Here, this is a little stronger with the court card. Major Arcana, Major Arcana. The world, something is completing. There's a cycle that's completed. The moon and the high priestess both say, yield to your intuition. The fool is taking a leap of faith. So really go into that intuition. Have faith, trust your instinct, get your spiritual game on. Seek out wisdom from books of knowledge that help you be in alignment with yourself, with your head and mysteries that are behind you and known to you coming from the cosmos and making you more aware and shining through with your moon that is sometimes the, the water and confusion clinging on. No, look for that light. Look for that spiritual insight. You're going between two pillars and trying to figure it out. You're going between two pillars trying to figure it out. This is strength and unity. This is Boaz and Joaquin. This is all kinds of stuff. Two batons here. I mean, this is loud and clear, guys. You are in a new stage, and it's a new creative stage. We're going to look at the other deck and see if there's anything that we want to clarify about this right now. You know what? We're going to shuffle up. And usually if I have double decks, I'll have one of the decks that I've edged and one not. So this is my older deck. But let's see what we can figure out that's clear for Leo. Straight up the middle. Wow. The world. Something has finished. Something new is starting. Woo. An inspiration needs to be known. Hang man. Sideways. Have you shifted your perspective where you need to yet? Justice. Three of swords. All right. Something feels unfair, but justice is coming. Karma has a way of suiting out, sorting out the scales. The hangman feels like you're in limbo and you're not loving it. 
not loving it one bit. There needs to be a perspective shift. I don't think it's there yet. The Three of Swords is sometimes to do with actual heartache from relationship. Sometimes it's a new truth that um, when you have the Two of Swords and it's a stalemate and the third one bursts through clearly, then it might be a painful change that needs to be made, but that's what it needs. Okay. Any other clarifiers for Leo? Ace of Pentacles repeating again. Queen of Pentacles, this sense of abundance and lushness that you're trying to get to. This, you feel upside down perhaps a little bit. You might feel like your resources aren't what you want them to be. So you're holding on to them really tight. And maybe you're um, kind of in a little bit of miser mode or feeling perhaps less ready than you actually are. But little by little, that does grow. Um, it's also a, a caution on the upside down part. If you're holding on too tight, you're not making room for new to come in. So you need to make some room for the new. This again is repeating upside down or not. This is a reminder. Okay, let's take another look and see if there's anything else that needs to be practically shouted from the sacred rose. Well, damn, that thing just flew across. Seven of wands. Okay, this guy looks like totally in battle mode, but he's got his eyes closed, man. And this is about getting clear in your mind in your fiery self, getting clear about your boundaries. It's not about actually slugging it out if you don't have to. A lot will be coming at you. A lot is coming out of you creatively. So it's time for boundaries. Be aware of that. Anything else? Leo, Leo. Queen of Cups. This earth and water energy needs to be balanced. Earth and sky also okay now the queen of cups she's very reflective emotionally and she sometimes is thinking about how hard one the lessons in love can be she also has the cup with the chalice and it's covered up over the top there's something hidden there that either she chooses to hide and not uncover yet as a high priestess card might indicate hint hint look at it take a look at it and whatever is the secret knowing knowledge that um she holds in her hand needs more examination what that is for you i'm not quite sure but it's definitely worth a look okay cards just stop me cold there the star oh awesome awesome star and four of wands so what we've got here is hope healing water energy so definitely look, inspiration, intuition, kind of a psychic card on the knowing, shifting perspective, cosmically there's a lot going on, there needs to be a shift in perspective and the time is about here, you need to get yourself ready to think different, okay, because that's when you're going to be able to flow with the universe a lot more easily, then the four of wands where you're celebrating all this creative stuff and this clear boundary that's been set, there's a time for a, a celebration, a small celebration, but very joyful. This is what's going on. This is a big dang deal, guys. All right. That's fabulous, actually. So if you're looking at the heart of the matter, really, really looking, you've got justice, which feels upside down, a perspective that needs shifted. You have the fool starting a new adventure, the high priestess, the star, the world, there's healing and hope in the completion of this cycle. And the moon, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of lack of clarity. Clarity that's being offered that's new. So trust that intuition. Tune in spiritually big time. And really, really look at your perspective on this. All right. That is what I've got for you. I'm going to leave you with an animal spirit oracle card and see if that is a little bit of a post-it note or reminder for you. Let's see what they've got. Just just for a little bit of lightness and sometimes um, they speak in a different way than the sacred rose not quite so cosmic a little more earthy but it looks like that wouldn't hurt okay that's beautiful oh I'll leave it right there look at that guys trust divine detours coyote spirit yeah trust divine detours Leo oh I hope this resonates I really am excited to hear back from you guys so 
send me a note. Let me know how it's going. Um, like, subscribe, come see me again. And be safe, guys. Be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.